All right, it's Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn, and today we talk about the money. And I money, guess money, 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 money. That's right. <laughs> we got Rashawn McDonald, brand strategist. He manages Stephen A. Smith, yes, uh, Image Award winner. And listen, you can catch him on Money Making Conversations. The one and only Rashawn McDonald. How are you, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, here, I'm here on a Wednesday. I always happy to come on the show, and I feel a big time. I'm on, uh, I want to say TV. I feel like I'm on TV, you know. <laughs> <laughs> on this new technology. We talk about technology changing the world, but that's what you do when you have money. And we're talking about money making conversations. And, you know, I, I just want to set a stage right here for everybody out there, especially African Americans. When I look at over 115 million people have died from COVID 19, uh, 43,000 people have died in nursing homes. A lot of people won't say that. Uh, 683 of those have been employed, people have been employed in nursing homes. They've stopped releasing numbers on the uh, on the on the demographics that are breaking diet as far as black, white, Hispanic, because they don't want you to realize that a third of the 115,000 are African Americans, yeah. which means that they are making conscious decisions in our economy with no care at all for the people of color. They mm -hmm. just want to be and that's sad. And I think that people really need to put pressure on their elected officials to to understand that we have we we have a right to know. Uh, how we could survive and operate in this world and we're just tired of getting the last end of the check and if you get the last end of the check it's always the smallest part of the check and that's what's happening in during this pandemic period and it's pretty obvious you know president trump has said um you know blacks have had the most jobs under me but now we're in a time where we're starting to see people are going through another great depression it seems like do you think we're going to come out of this anytime soon what are your thoughts here's the deal that's the question I want you to answer, y'all. This is Money Making Conversations with brand strategist Rashawn McDonald. He manages Stephen A. Smith, Image Award winner, and so many more. We got more with him coming up as Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn at 10 after the hour. It's Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn. We're inside the party poll at 888-909-1514. This is Money Making Conversations with Rashawn McDonald. He's the brand strategist for so many people. Stephen A. Smith's manager. He's an Image Award winner. The man has done everything. And most people are concerned about employment. Are we at another Great Depression, Rashawn? A couple of weeks ago, uh, President Trump was dancing about 2.5 million uh, in the job job uh, report. Well, let's put it this way. When 43 million people have filed for unemployment and you start reopening the country, there's going to be an uptick in employment. Let's of course. Call it that. That's going to be a, so there's nothing to jump around there. But he failed to tell you that the unemployment rate for blacks had increased. He didn't tell you that number. And so, again, not giving you the full facts. He has not allowed us to to as African-Americans to be out there. I'm going to just tell you right now, I consider myself a high profile African-American with a great credit score. I still had to put out a tremendous amount of paperwork and affidavits to get a loan of credit during this pandemic times. That's me. So you look at people who are just regular everyday people, the struggle is not going to happen. So to answer your question, Rick, he is not telling the truth because he refuses to acknowledge the truth. He gives you a partial story. Now, I'm going to tell you this. You've not heard from Fauci, Dr. Fauci. Mm -hmm. Those White House briefings do not happen anymore. You do still see them from Cuomo in New York, but they do not happen at the White House because he knows that those reports affect the stock market. And so when the stock market was was running high for seven straight days because he sequestered the truth. And then the CDC put a report out and told him that, hey, this particular medicine that he keeps telling everybody to take is not a good medicine. Stock market dived again because there's too much bad information. And I have to talk like this because, you know, people talk. I, I come on shows talking about money making conversations. But we got to talk about life when people out there following bad advice and they're washing their chicken with Clorox bleach. Mm. Because they think that will get rid of the COVID-19. Realize right. the world that we're living in is filled with bad information. So when the president of the United States tells you he's he's the best president for the African-Americans in the history, then you turn around and Ben Carson said, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> this is Ben Carson. Right. <laughs> Anytime Ben wanted to dispute that, ben you know you Robert, got a problem. Hold on, Finally, hold on, he's hold on, speaking hold on. up. What did Ben Carson say? We're going to talk about that when we come back. Money Making Conversations with Rashawn McDonald's Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn. It's Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn. We're talking to brand strategist Rashawn McDonald. And at the bottom of the hour, y'all, we're talking to Spike Lee. He's got a new movie streaming on Netflix called The Five Bloods. Now, Rashawn, 
you were talking about how Ben Carson is not feeling Donald Trump too much. What did he say to him, man? Ben right. probably would hold up, hold up, hold up. I can ride the lie for so long. Right. <laughs> I can ride this lie, okay? And but that but that's the world we live in. And I just feel that when I see things like uh, like we I'm in, I live in the state of Georgia. It's a Republican state. Let's look at all the protests that are going on. Uh, our mayor, Keisha Lance Bowden, has went to the protests, has spoken to the protests. Atlanta is the capital of Georgia. Governor Kemp has not ever went out and spoken to the protesters, ever made an attempt nope. to speak to the protesters. So it tells you the person who in the state of Georgia does not want to hear what the protesters have to say. And all they are doing is requesting change. And when you talk about requesting change, you have to go to this bill that uh, Trump is about to sign. Says nothing about chokeholds. That says nothing about immunity. Says nothing about reform. And then they turn the defund, defund the police as a outcry that we're trying to close the police. Right. When I was growing up, we had programs like the CETA program. These are programs in the CETA. summertime. They have little jobs for you. My first you job was with the CETA program. Okay, when 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 Republicans took over, I'm talking about Ronald Reagan. He killed all the CETA program and put all the money into the police. And so the, we became a police state. And I'm just telling you, this is the same world that Donald Trump wants us to exist in, a police state, ignoring what is happening to African-Americans in the street by allowing us to be brutalized. And if you're going to be brutalized in the streets, you're going to be brutalized in your bank account, too. Rick. Absolutely. Mm. Um, Rashawn, a couple of things. Um, we still have a lot of people, African Americans included in that, that still have not received their unemployment. And it's been weeks of them waiting for money. What do they do? And just recently, a couple of days ago, they were saying that it was still money available with the PPP. What do you say to the business owners? Because I keep hearing from business owners, too, that they are applying and they just haven't heard anything back. I always like to share personal stories. I applied in the first round of the PPP. I applied. The very first day, when they said you could press send, I pressed send. I got no money in the first round of the PPP. I applied in the second round. Two weeks went by, nothing. Finally, I called my bank and de demanded an explanation because they told you you couldn't call your bank, right? Mm -hmm. I called my bank anyway and demanded what is going on. I didn't say it that nicely, y'all. I put an extra <laughs> few words in there because when you're mad about your money, you should say a few extra words. OK. And so they put me in contact through another person at the bank, a loan officer who contacted the people at the, at, at the rep that was handling the PPP at the Bank of America. I'll tell you the name of the bank. It was Bank of America. They found out that my my application was stuck. It was oh, stuck. Wow. They could see my application, but they could not process it. So I'm telling everybody, get angry about your money and make phone calls. Do okay. not listen to these people when they tell you, oh, don't call us. We'll call you. That's not mm -hmm. true. I'm a prime example of my money was stuck. They had to unstick it. And when they unstick it, unstuck it, they gave me a check that was so small, it could have stayed stuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But you Man. cashed it. You took Man. it. I can't remember, so Rick, no, you deposited it. I know you I deposited it. I know you did. I know you did. <laughs> there it is, y'all. Money, <laughs> <Sure. laughs> Money making conversations. Money making conversations, y'all. Rashawn McDonald, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, brother. I'll see y'all too. Be blessed, right. okay? I you love too, you. We love you. Bye, baby. Right. All right, All right bro. bro. All right, y'all. Coming up next, we're talking to Spike Lee. He's got a new movie out called The Five Bloods. Stick around as Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn.